What's up YouTube, I'm Casey with bestinvestingapps.com and today you're going to learn how to make your own pies with M1 Finance. If you don't know what M1 Finance is, check the description below and you'll find some links to our other reviews and videos on M1 Finance. It's my favorite brokerage platform and I think it's a great option for almost all investors. So definitely check it out. And without further ado, let's learn how to make a brand new pie for your investment account. Before we get too deep into it, I wanted to give a big shout out to all the positive response I've seen to everyone who's come to support me and then download my free ebook, Invest, Three Easy Steps to Get Started Investing. So thank you very much to everyone. I hope that's provided some value to you. If you're interested in downloading a copy yourself, check the show notes below for the link. Let's get right into it. If you don't already have an account at M1 Finance and you need to sign up, check the links below for my affiliate link it costs you nothing and it helps me keep these great videos coming to you once you've made your account or you've signed in come up to the top and click on my pies and then there'll be a big blue button over here create a new pie and you can start with any type of foundation that you want so if you want a uh, expert pie you can come in here and that's kind of what it gives you at first uh, if you click on each of these, so hedge fund followers, these hedge fund followers you can add in. Uh, maybe I want to follow Berkshire Hathaway. If you click on it, it'll show you what it holds. These hedge fund followers are meant to replicate hedge funds like uh, Warren Buffett and so on and so forth. There are socially responsible, retirement focused. There's all sorts of different ones. Along the top, you'll find your options. You can add individual stocks. You can start with a, another pie that you already have. So if I wanted to create something based off another pie I already have, I can do that. I can check by funds. I can sort by different criteria. So I'm actually going to come in and I'm going to add, um, let's add some Microsoft as the very first part of this pie. So I click the plus button right here. I click add to pie. And then I'm presented with the new pie screen. And up top here, the first thing you'll want to do is rename this. So this is Video Pie Test. Boom. And I'll add a description. This pie is for a video. Great. It says it's not currently used in any portfolios. That's fine because I'm building it right now. So if we're ready to add more to it, we're going to click Add Slices. I'll come in and let's say I want a fund. I'm going to take the Vanguard Total Stock Market Fund, which I personally love a lot. I'm going to add some VTI. It gives us exposure to the broad market as a whole. Maybe I also want some international. Uh, I don't know the ticker. Vanguard Total International Bond. Okay, sure, why not? We're experimenting. We're just making a pie to show you how it works. Okay, great. Now maybe I want, um, I also want some exposure to China. So I'm going to add some Alibaba. I personally own this stock right now. It's been doing really well recently. And I'll add that in. Okay, so I've got some Microsoft. I've got Vanguard Total Stock Market. Let's say 20% there. Um, not feeling so, so hot on Microsoft, but I want it in there. Uh, I think Alibaba's got some good potential. And Let's see, what does that leave me? 50% still? Boom. If you're not sure how much you still have left, so if I put 10 in here, sorry, if I put 10 in here, I'm not quite sure how much I have left. Look down here on the bottom, it says total 60%. So I need to add 40% in here somewhere. So I can add 20 here and 20 here. Oh, that didn't work. I'm supposed to add 20 there. There we go. Now it allows me to save changes. It won't let you save your changes until you've got 100%. If you're not happy, you can select all of these and equalize them. So now it's equal weighted. I can come back in and maybe I want to, I do like Warren Buffett. So here, let's add Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. And I'm gonna say 50% of my portfolio is going there. Let's do 10% in all the others. So now, I've kind of got a pie within a pie because, oh, I need 20 there. Because Berkshire Hathaway is already 
a pie itself. If I come in here and I click on it, Berkshire Hathaway is already broken up across all these different investments, so it's already a little pie. Um, now, if I head back, that means that I've got a pie within a pie here, so things are broken up a little bit more. That adds some diversification. It's actually very similar to the way that any of these funds, mutual funds and ETFs are done, where there are underlying holdings and many, many of them, sometimes hundreds or more. Uh, so we can do a pie within a pie within a pie. I can even come in and add my other pie. So I've got my experimental pie. I want to add that in. So now I've added one of my own pies. Boom. So now I have one of my own pies inside of one of my own pies. Plus, of course, Berkshire Hathaway and any other. Maybe I want a little bit of uh, retirement. I'm going to retire in 2035. Sure, why not? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? We add that in here. I'm going to put 10% in there as well. 30% here. Now, I want to make a note and let you know that I have, of course, just been playing with numbers and adding random things into this pie to show you how it works. This is not a recommendation to buy any of these things. I have not considered your investing needs. So please do your own research. Um, look more deeply into it. This is simply showing you the interface and how it works. So up here, it's going to tell me my average dividend yield across everything I own. 2.25% is not bad. Uh, it doesn't seem to have computed the expense ratio uh, and it seems to think that I only hold one thing. So let's save it and see. Now we've got an update. It says my holdings are 49. I have 49 holdings. My average expense ratio is 0.04%, which is really, really good. And unfortunately, my dividend yield fell to 1.81%, but that's okay. It's still not bad. So I click on my pies and here it is, the video pie test. I can come over and I can add it to other things. I can edit it or I can delete it altogether. I can click on it and come back in and see all the stats. And of course, I can go over to my portfolio. I can view details and I can add slices of my pie. Here's my video test pie. Boom, I'm going to add that to my current portfolio. And I can work that into my current existing portfolio. So you can pretty much have a limitless number of pies within pies within pies. You can reallocate those. So I could name one uh, a pie for when the stock market crashes, a pie for when I think tech stocks are going to go up, whatever. And you can kind of um, adjust on the fly based on that. So that is how to make a brand new pie for your M1 finance account and everything you need to know. Of course, doing your own research is really important. I haven't done any research for you. You need to do all of the legwork and make sure that you're doing your own due diligence and investing intelligently. Go ahead and check out any of our other videos. We have plenty of videos coming out. I'll be shooting out some new videos about how I am building my portfolio and how I'm trying to tailor that to actually create a better return than just an index investing type of portfolio. So if you're curious about that, leave me a comment, check the show notes below for links and descriptions, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe or like this video. We're putting out new videos almost every day. So stick with us and I appreciate you.